Problem number 105. A homogeneous 800 kg bar AB is supported at either end by a cable. Calculate the smallest area of each cable if the stress is not to exceed 90 megapascal in bronze and 120 MPa in steel. Ang mga given sa problem ay yung mass ng bar, which is 800 kg, the allowable stress of bronze, which is 90 MPa, the allowable stress of steel, which is 120 MPa. To solve for the weight of the bar, Gagamitin lang natin yung formula na weight is equal to mass times gravity. The mass is given 800 kg and the gravitational acceleration of the earth is equal to 9.81 meter per second squared. And the weight of the bar is equal to 7,848 kg meter per second squared or newton. The weight of the bar will act at the center of gravity of the bar or sa gitna. I-take natin yung free body diagram ng bar para ma-determine yung internal force na na-develop sa bronze and steel cable. I-denote natin na PBR yung internal force na na-develop sa bronze cable and PST yung internal force na na-develop sa steel cable. By symmetry, PBR is equal to PST, which is equal to 7,848 newton over 2, or equal to 3,924 newton. Dahil located at same distance from W yung tensile force ng bronze and steel cable, paghatian nila i-carry yung weight ng 7,848 newton. Gamitin lang natin yung formula na stress is equal to force over area, to determine the smallest area that can be used by each cable. For bronze cable, we will use the formula stress is equal to force over area, wherein sigma BR is the allowable stress for bronze and FBR is the internal force developed on bronze cable and ABR is the area of the bronze. As given in the problem, the allowable stress for bronze is equal to 90 MPa or Newton per millimeter squared. And FBR, as we calculated, is equal to 3,924 newton over the area of bronze. Maka-cancel out yung newton sa ating solution. And as we calculated, the area of bronze is equal to 43.60 mm squared. And next, for steel cable, we will use the formula stress is equal to force over area wherein sigma ST is the allowable stress for steel, and FST is the internal force developed on a steel cable, and AST is the area of steel. As given in the problem, the allowable stress for steel is equal to 120 megapascal or newton per millimeter squared, and FST is equal to 3,924 newton over the area of steel at maka-cancel out yung newton sa equation. And the area of steel, as we calculated, is equal to 32.70 mm squared. Problem number 106. The homogeneous bar shown in the figure is supported by a smooth pin at point C. And a cable that runs from point A to point B around the smooth peg at point D. Find the stress in the cable if its diameter is 0 0.60 inches and the bar weighs 6,000 pounds. Ang mga given sa problem ay diameter ng cable which is 0 0.60 inches and the weight of the bar which is equal to 6,000 pounds. Yung weight ng bar ay mag a sa kanyang center of gravity or sa gitna ng bar. I-take natin yung free body diagram ng bar para ma-determine yung internal force na na-develop sa cable. By taking the free body diagram of the bar, ilalagay natin lahat ng force na nag a sa bar. First ay yung given na weight ng bar na 6,000 pound. 
Next is the internal force on cable AD. I-denote natin yung force na to as FAD. And the internal force on cable BD. I-denote natin yung force na to as FBD. And last is the horizontal and vertical component of the reaction at point C due to the hinge support at point C. I-denote natin na RC vertical yung vertical component and RC horizontal yung horizontal component ng reaction sa point C. Since stated sa problem na yung cable ay nag on a smooth peg at point D, therefore we can say that it is frictionless. And by the concept of friction, since it is frictionless, we can state that FAD is equal to FBD. At i-denote na lang natin yung force nila as T. To determine the tensile force T of the cable, we can take moment at point C para hindi pumasok yung unknown value ng reaction. By taking the summation of all moment at point C and taking all clockwise rotation as positive is equal to zero, mag-start tayong i-moment yung FAD sa point C. Kaso, kailangan natin muna ng value ng angle ng FAD. Pero para mas madali, gumamit na lang tayo ng slope triangle. Going back to the original figure, yung cable AD ay meron siyang horizontal distance na 5 meter and vertical distance na 3 meters. To determine the hypotenuse side of this slope triangle, that was simply equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 3 squared, or equal to square root of 34. Going back to the summation of moment, unahin natin yung moment sa point C yung vertical component ng FAD, and the vertical component of FAD is FAD multiplied by 3 over square root of 34. And the moment arm of the vertical component of FAD up to point C is equal to 5 meters plus 5 meters or equal to 10 meters. Yung horizontal component ng FAD ay magpapass through sa point C kaya 0 yung kanyang moment sa point C. Positive yung value ng moment ng FAD sa point C kasi pag nagrotate siya sa point C, siya ay magro-rotate ng pa-clockwise at ang inasum natin na positive sa equation ay lahat ng clockwise rotation na moment. Ang next na moment natin ay yung FBD at meron siyang moment arm na 5 meters hanggang sa point C. Positive din yung value ng moment ng FBD kasi pag nagrotate yan sa point C, yan ay magro-rotate ng pa-clockwise. At base sa ating sign convention na ginawa, lahat ng clockwise rotation ay positive. And next is the weight of the bar. Meron din siyang moment arm na 5 meters. The sign of the moment of 6,000 force or the weight of the bar is negative. Kasi yung force W or weight ng bar ay magro-rotate ng pa-counterclockwise sa point C. Yung reaction ng hinge sa point C or RCB and RCH ay zero since magpa-pass through siya mismo sa point C. At wala nang ibang force pa na magkikreate ng moment sa point C, therefore this equation is equal to zero. As we defined a while ago, FAD is equal to FBD and we can denote this as T. By computation and adding this two term of the equation, it is equal to 10.145T. Ilipat na natin sa kabilang side ng equation yung 6,000 times 5 which is equal to 30,000. And T is equal to 2,957.12 pound. To determine the stress in the cable, we just simply use the formula stress is equal to force over area. Ang hinahanap sa problem na to ay yung stress ng cable. Nasolve na natin yung internal force ng cable which is equal to T or 2,957.12 pound. Over the area of the cable, given yung diameter ng cable, 0.6 inches, the formula for the area is equal to pi diameter squared over 4. And the value of stress of cable is equal to 10,458.67 pound per inch squared or PSI.